Okay. Uh, so we have learned the uh, function function regression. So now let me show you uh, how we do the programming on the function function regression using the FGA package. Okay, so this is uh, our function. And uh, so after the lectures, I will send you the functions for sure. Okay, so basically this uh, example is to, um, it, it, it's, uh, it, it's a uh, function function regression to study the uh, Swedish mortality data. So basically here is uh, we have with the, uh, uh, the uh, number of deaths um, at each age for women. Um, at from age zero to age 90. And uh, we have from years from 1751 through 1894. Okay, so basically what we do is that uh, uh, we will uh, predict, we will doing kind of a functional time series. We will try to uh, model how the, uh, the death curve uh, from the uh, one year to uh, from at one year uh, related to the death curve uh, from uh, the previous year. So, uh, so here uh, I have to change my directory. Okay, so I loaded the Swedish uh, death data. So this is the data looks like. So basically here uh, we have uh, for each year, we will have the um, number of deaths uh, uh, in Sweden for women uh, from the age zero to age 80. I think is this is the log of the numbers. Okay, so we go from year uh, 1751 to 1894. So we have 144 years. We have 144 curves. Okay. Um, so it's uh, 81 times 144. We have 144 years. And we have the death number uh, from age zero to age 90. So um, now let me uh, plot uh, the data. Um, so this is the, uh, the uh, hazard, hazard rate. Uh, in four years uh, from, uh, I think this is uh, year 1751, uh, 1810 and 1850. You can see that the hazard uh, death rate is keep decreasing. Um, so then um, we will um, you then created uh, some B splines uh, you then create the B spline basic function. And uh, so we will have 85 basic functions and we set the order equal to uh, six. So then we defined the uh, second derivative as the rough in the penalty. And we set the smoothing parameter lambda equal to 10 to minus seven. And then we can use the function smooth.basis uh, to smooth the, uh, the hazard uh, curve. So then we can uh, plot how this uh, uh, fit looks like. Um, yeah, 
So another thing I want to mention that um, when we do the functional data analysis, it is very important for you to plot how the fit, how the curve fit looks like with respect to the discrete observations. Um, because, um, you know, when we're using the basic functions, it is so flexible. There's no single criterion will work for any applications. So we, I always recommend that you look at uh, the fit by your eyes uh, and it's, it's uh, definitely more reliable than any criterion. So we can always uh, uh, look at the, how the fit looks like. So here the circles is the observed um, hazard rate uh, for the different age in year 1751. Uh, the, the curve here is the fitted curve. And uh, so you can see the fit is pretty good. And again here, when we fit the uh, functional covariate, we want to be a little bit overfitting just to um, keep uh, the, all the information there, okay? So for this function, um, plot fit.fd, it is able to um, plot uh, all the all the fit uh, curve looks like. I think this is a very handy function to use. So I just uh, 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 click the enter, it will go to the next uh, fit. So it, uh, this is a 1752 of 1753. So, you know, by looking at this, I'm able to see how my fit looks like. So you can see that the fit is almost goes through all the uh, data. And uh, I think this is fine. You know, I just want to keep all the information there. I do a little bit of overfitting on purpose. Okay, so this is how the fit looks like. So now I will set up the uh, regression coefficient. So basically uh, I will create the uh, um, 23 uh, B, B splines um, to, uh, to, to, to uh, represent the, uh, the beta ST function. So uh, I first using this uh, basic function, 23 basic function to represent the intercept function. So I define using the FD par, okay? So basically using the second derivative to define the roughing penalty and uh, the smoothing parameter is 10 to minus five. Okay, so because I needed to estimate this uh, beta zero t here, right? Okay, so then I will use in the bar FD to define the basis functions um, for my uh, bivariate basis coefficient. So I use in the tensor product to define the basis function. So um, basically is this uh, uh, tensor product of 23 B spline basis functions. And then I defined the um, penalty uh, for the for the beta st, so uh, the penalty here uh, because of this beta st is a bivariate function, so I define roughing the penalty by taking the second derivative of beta st with back to s, and the second derivative of beta st with back to t. Okay, so then I will get the um, define the roughing penalty on the beta st, and then. I put this as the list. So now I will treat the define the dependent and the independent variable. So the dependent variable yt is the current year uh, hazard rate at different age. The xt will be the uh, last year of the hazard rate. So then we do the regression analysis. Um, for function on function regression, we're using a different uh, uh, function called uh, lean mode. Okay, so this is a 
uh, this is a, a specifically defined for the uh, function function regression. Okay, so this is uh, the yt, this is the xt, and this is the uh, basic functions and penalty on the beta st and the intercept term. Okay, so then I do the fit. And then I can uh, look at how my um, how my beta st looks like. So again, the return is a is 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 a fd object. So you have to do is to using evaluate dot bivariate fd to get the beta st at uh, any uh, time you like. So this is the beta st, okay. Uh, I find this a uh, 3D dimension, 3D plot. Although it looks cool, but it's hard to understand and interpret. So therefore, I I don't I don't like these these 3D plots. You know, it's hard to see anything behind this edge, right? So instead, I will recommend you to do the image plot. Okay, so this is, uh, I calculated the beta S, I plot the beta ST as an image. And uh, so the X axis is the S dimension, is the age from zero to 80. And the Y axis is from, uh, is the T from zero to 80 as well. And here, the color here represent the, represent the, uh, the, the, the value of the beta ST. So this color represent this is the uh, color represent the value of beta st, and uh, so so I think uh, here it will be uh, more interesting to 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 see. Uh, so uh, specifically, uh, you will see that uh, um, like uh, it's interesting to look at uh, how the how the uh, the beta st. Um, change uh, around when st is close right so you see here i plot the uh the the line where uh, st the third line here is just st to be uh one one year apart the dash line is uh, when st is two years apart and so you can see here generally there's a strong effect of the of the hazard rate uh, 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 has a rate for the on the, the current year on the next year when the age is one or two years apart, right? Yes. Okay. So this is the uh, this is the example uh, for the function function regression. Um,